this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, good morning, Polly Reindeer, and good morning, Pizzy. <laughs> Hi, guys. Everyone's got fancy waves. I just have, like... Rapid punchy waves. I don't know. To, I don't know how to do the fancy waves. <laughs> Everyone's got fancy waves. Oh, actually, Polly, can you throw up? Can you throw a snowball at me, please? Can you? Can you? Okay. I just wanted to double check that it does actually knock me back. So I didn't notice it did before, and that is going to be crucial for something that we are building today. So I guess uh, maybe that'll be a little bit of a hint for what sort of mini game is uh, is going to be coming up. One where we throw snowballs at each other, <laughs> and that isn't even like the fun part of it. All right then, let's uh, start off by having my breakfast. Nom 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 nom. Mm, delicious Barnaby, you can stand up and you can join me. And uh, yeah, before we go and uh, start building the new mini game, I am, of course, gonna go over to my love garden to let you all know who the lucky lady is that has been added to it uh, today. And uh, the person I am adding to it today is Emily. And the reason I'm adding Emily is because she drew this picture of me with a very cakey background, which is very fitting for today's episode. And she drew it on her phone, and my mind's just always blown by how good people are like drawing on their phone because I couldn't draw like that good with like a pen and paper let alone on a screen so yeah thank you so much for drawing it for me Emily and welcome to my love garden uh, right then let's go and uh... okay well we're gonna go to the dog house and then we are gonna do something that I haven't done for a very long time I am gonna go into my you but there teleporter uh, because we are building right at the very back of my fun land today I've extended the fun land beyond the boundary which I ever thought I was gonna be able to extend it to uh, and that's where we're gonna be building so right flippy you can stand up and you can join me. Barnaby, you can sit your bum right down there with the, uh, the rest of the dogs in the, the dog house. And yeah, I'm going to go down into my, my secret base. And uh, I need to remember which button to press and which lever to pull and how to, to work my teleporter properly. Uh, I think I remember. It's not been, it's not been that long. Uh, so let's go and swim my way down through here. And uh, here we go. The you but there teleporter. So uh, I need to go inside. I need to, to press the button and we should arrive at the fun land. Okay, it looks like my my teleporter seems to, to still be working. Felt a little bit different uh, from the way that it used to do. Now we're on bedrock, but yeah, it still was able to, to get me to where we need to, to build. So yeah, we're going to be right at the very, 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 very back of the, the fun land. Like literally like when the uh, in the old version, this would have been outside of the, the barrier. And we're actually building big today. This is actually going to be one of the, probably one of the biggest mini games. Uh, it's not like the, like really tall or anything, uh, but you can kind of see here, this is the, uh, the space that it's going to be taking off so uh it's gonna be a it's gonna be a pretty big one and uh, right let me explain what the game's gonna be about so i wanted to do a game where i use a trident okay and my obvious first choice was maybe a darts game or something and i was like no too obvious too too obvious and then i realized that if i throw a trident really far away okay and then as it flies back to me because it's got the loyalty enchantment if i move i can make it so it flies past me and then I can run in a circle like this. And I can make it so it keeps trying to get to me, but it can't reach me because I keep just dodging it in little circles going around like this. And so this is the main point of the game. So I'm going to be running around an arena trying to pick up cakes Hence all of the cake references I've made so far in the video. And uh, yeah, while I'm doing that, uh, my opponents are going to be throwing snowballs at me. Uh, yeah, Polly, have you got any snowballs? Maybe if you try and hit a snowball with me. And so that would mess up my routine. And then it might make it so I end up picking up the, the trident. Because if my inventory is completely full, then the trident just endlessly like flies around me. And I basically never pick it up. So that's going to be kind of the, the point of the, the game. And we have a fox! The first fox I've ever seen in my lovely world. Who would have thought? Right, let me just go grab this trident back. So yeah, you need loyalty level one because uh, the higher level of loyalty, the faster it goes back. And normally you'd want higher loyalty because you want it to come back as fast as possible. Um, in this game, we want it to be uh, a little bit slower just to give you a, a good chance to actually uh, dodge it around. So all right then, let's start building. So the first thing I'm going to start building is that I'm going to do like just the ground dimensions. And this is going to be one of the towers. There's going to be three towers. Uh, one for each of my helpers that isn't playing the, the game. And it's all going to be cake themed. So it's all going to be like orange, uh, which is meant to be the bottom of the cake, and then 
like white at the the top and then this area is going to be kind of just like one giant cake and this is going to be the uh, arena you're going to be running uh, around in so it uh, needs to be 17 blocks along which means if this is the middle i need to go eight in either direction so one two three four five six seven eight then if i go in the uh the other direction here i need to go one two three four five six seven eight and then we're going to slant in this way and this needs to be uh 12 blocks long including where the corner is so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, then yeah, we go 17 across this way. Uh, very simple. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, I can also double check it's right because this tower should go three blocks out. And oh no, I don't know if this is right because this should end up being two blocks away from the side. Right, so I think I've gone wrong somewhere. <laughs> so this this is definitely in the middle because that doorway is there. Uh, was this definitely 12 blocks along here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is this not 17 blocks along here then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, may maybe my, uh, maybe just my maths is wrong. Maybe just the arena's the wrong side? Let's see what happens if I go 12 along this way. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Then this tower would go out by 1, 2, 3. Oh yeah, I, th I think I just got the dimension slightly wrong. And it just means that there's three blocks either side. But that's fine. That doesn't matter. I can handle that. I mean, all of my mini games are perfectly just a few blocks away. Oh no, they're not. Look, what it is, it's because I lined it up from this game and they're just a few more blocks away. Oh, this is good. This just means that like the paths are slightly in a weird place. But the game is fine. And that's the bit that matters. So, all right then. Now let's carry on building. <laughs> Panic over. My game will fit in here. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, and then I guess uh, we just need to go across here by a uh, another 17. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And you tell you what, guys, now we know the dimensions seem to be relatively correct. Do you want to start building up the the walls uh, so they're a little bit higher up? So we're gonna have oh, now why hasn't this lined up correctly here? Is <laughs> how is, where where is this one gone wrong? Was this not seventeen here? Uh, actually, I don't know if I finished counting this one along. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. No, okay. This one just needs to go one more block along there like that. And then there we go. This is where the wall is. We're okay, guys. Panic over. This is where this needs to, to go uh, along there like that. And then, yeah, so all of these are going to go two blocks high uh, all the way uh, along here like this. Uh, and then it's going to be kind of one row of white wall, which is going to kind of make the uh, the top surface area so there's actually there's no reason for this game to be raised up the way it is like originally it was going to be flat on the ground but then i kind of had the idea of doing it as a cake idea and i think if it was just like white wool just on the ground like that I just don't think it would look very much like a cake. So it kind of serves two purposes building it up like this. One is it makes it actually look a little bit more like a cake. It'd be a bit of a weird cake because it's got like weird cakey towers. And then there's going to be like a, a big bit stretching out the, the side there. But it will give you definitely the effect of it being a cake. It also just gives us a, a nice kind of like handy basement underneath the uh, the rest of the area here uh, which is where i can put all of the the redstone in all of the the mechanisms and there's no crazy mechanisms basically you're going to be stuck in a cherry <laughs> in the the middle of the cake down there that's where you throw the trident from and then when you throw the the trident it will when it lands it will release you from the little area that you were kind of trapped in in the the cherry uh, and then it will also start giving out snowballs for the other players and basically then there's a, a button that you would press to, to end the the game at the, the end of it um uh yeah which is basically yeah once the the round uh, is over so uh help us do you want to start filling in all of the the white wall in this area here and uh, i'm going to go and build one of these uh these towers and uh, show you how uh, how these are going to go and then around the top of here as well we're going to have a bit of glass uh which is basically just uh, as a way to to keep everyone in so let me kind of just mark out where that is uh, is going to be uh, so my helpers can uh, can see so we can start building in a wall so it's just going to be three blocks high 
around the uh, the entire outside. And then the, the towers are just going to go one block higher than that, uh, just so you have uh, access and you will be able to, to reach in to throw all of your, your snowballs. So let's go up with the uh, the orange wall here like this. And then I'll go and fill in with the, the white. And we are going to make it look more cakey. At the moment, it kind of looks uh, a little bit too perfect. Uh, but eventually, uh, it's going to look like all the icing is dripping down and going to look like uh, an actual proper cake, uh, eventually, is the, the plan. And then in the middle of this area here, this is where the uh, the droppers will eventually be. And then that's going to be the thing that's going to be quite slowly giving out snowballs. I think if you suddenly gave you like 10 snowballs, you could just spam them and it would be like way too difficult for the person to... To, to in the middle to keep trying to get all of the, the cakes because the thing is it's quite a difficult thing to do anyway like it's easy enough just to keep the trident so you don't pick it up where it gets really difficult is when you're trying to move in a specific direction at the same time so if I'm like trying to get over to one side uh, and I'm trying to move it it's really hard because you've got to kind of like keep up the the momentum of the the trident and kind of like keep flinging it all around you and uh, that's the that's the part that's a little bit more tricky so so, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the, the part that I'm looking forward to, to doing. I'm looking forward to be the, the one with the, the trident going around. Then again, throwing snowballs at my friend is always a, a good timer as well. So I think I'll enjoy that side of it as well. Anyway, let me go add some ladders in. So I'm going to need to add ladders to, to make my way onto the towers. But there's also going to be uh, eventually just ladders uh, that you're going to use in order just to get up into the, the game in general. Because as you can see, it's quite high up. So I think maybe just like in the middle of this area here. Uh, I can just leave a, a gap, maybe put just like a, a door down in there. Uh, but let me just kind of mark the, the gap for for now. So I think I'll just have like a way how you can enter the game on each of the, the different sides. And then this ladder is going to come up to the, the back here, uh, which is how the uh, the snow throwers are going to be able to access it here. So right, uh, while my helpers carry on filling in the top of this area, which they have done like stupidly fast. Like, look, look at it going. Look at it. It's just like the ground's filling itself in. Oh no, it's going to get like so, so dark down there though. And it's actually becoming night as well. So we're going to get a lot of googlies. Oh yeah, let me show you this by the way. So look, you can tell this was the, uh, the old barrier. So this was the, the invisible wall that trapped in my lovely world before. And now it's expanded and it's like infinitely big you can kind of see all of the the waves there and then i got all of the ocean stuff we got all of the kelp and uh, a lot of new fun things that we'll be able to to use a little bit later on all right then so this this is going to be the uh the area which is going to kind of stretch out into the distance so there's actually not going to be a tower on this side here so let me just break this away like that uh but i might actually use it to mark where the middle is so was this i'm assuming for whoever built this bit here, they lined it up so this is the the middle. Let me try and yeah, that looks that looks like that's the oh oh we got a creep creep from the cake guys. We got a creep from the cake. <laughs> oh I don't have any torches on me either. Uh, William might have to do a <laughs> getting get de googly the the cake. <laughs> All right then. So yeah, this is just going to be a, a trail which is going to be uh, five blocks wide. That's going to be going off into the, the distance. And this is basically going to be where you throw the trident to. And then at the end of this trail here, uh, there's going to be a... Uh, <laughs> look at Fizzy with his crossbow. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of pressure plates. And uh, basically, it's going to be lined up. So you throw your trident through the gap. And it's going to be the right distance so that you're almost 100% going to hit all of these pressure plates because you're going to reach it across to the, the end. And then the pressure plates are going to be the thing that sets off all of the, the redstone. So basically, this just needs to be a long distance area so that when you're... Wow, there's just googlies everywhere while I'm building this thing. <laughs> I feel like there's all of this chaos around me and I'm just missing it all because I'm just in this view. I just see arrows running past and helpers like sprinting around around with swords and I'm here just happily building my my long trail along here like this uh, so yeah this is going to go all the way along here then the pressure plates are going to be at the the back here somewhere so this should be two blocks away from there so that should go to to there like that and then yeah uh, help us do you want to help me go and uh fill in the uh, the rest of this white wall on the the top here like this uh, and then it doesn't really make sense because we've got like our big round cake <laughs> and then this is just like an extra big pointy bit which is kind of coming out uh, as well so it looks a little bit weird but um yeah it just it just makes everything at least fit in with the the cakey theme and then once again there's just going to be a, a bunch of a uh, glass around the the top here uh, but yeah this isn't going to be a 
Ow, excuse me. Right, looks like I need to get my paws dirty and actually help in trying to get rid of some of these googlies. Yes, you're never going to go to this area. This is just, as I said, going to be the, the long area where you're going to go and start throwing all of the, the tridents to. So this is going to be all filled in with orange the, uh, the whole way up there like that. So right, uh, while my helpers go and start filling that in uh, and then go and uh, start adding in some of the, the glass, uh, I'm going to add a, a little bit of the decoration. So as I said, I want this to look like a uh, an actual proper big cake so I want to do like a few of the the bits with the the icing dripping down and it all kind of like fits in with the the cake theme if you think about it because like there's the cake you're throwing a trident which is a bit like a fork which kind of makes sense and they're throwing snowballs which could be icing so it all it all does kind of like work out with the uh, the cake theme, uh, but it was all completely done by accident. Like I went through a million different ideas for what my um, like my trident theme mini game was gonna be. Originally, it was gonna be a game where you would throw the trident on the ceiling, and then the ceiling would be pistons that would move that would then knock down the trident, and then everyone would try and jump to to pick it up. Because one of the cool things about tridents is like, say if I throw it. And like it's another player there. Like if if it's going towards them, they can kind of like catch it. And so if I throw it up in the air, everyone can be like fighting to try and catch the trident. Was a game, and then uh, eventually I found out about this weird mechanic where if your inventory's full, the trident just kind of flies around you in a circle, and it just looks so goofy and so silly. I was like, I've got to do something with this. And then I realized that you can kind of just kind of dodge it and do it yourself. And hello, we're gonna. Oh, are you angry at me? I was like, oh, are you going to be a new doggy friend? But they are... Uh, okay. Good poochie. Good angry dog. Wow. Look at that. Look at the way it's staring me down at wherever I walk. Oh, <laughs> you've calmed down, have you? You've calmed down, have you? <laughs> that was the angriest wolf I've ever seen. And, wow. Looking very brave here, William. Literally come around and see you cowering in the corner. <laughs> Try to hide from all of the googlies. There are a lot of googlies to to be fair, so I really uh I don't blame you uh I don't blame you too much. <laughs> uh, so right, let's go and uh, make sure we get the rest of this area filled in, and then um yeah, then I'm gonna go and start add the, uh, adding the the cherries in. So there's gonna be oh if I can even get up here, why didn't I pack some torches with me? Look at this place. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we were meant to be building a happy game about collecting cake, but instead we've built a googly battle arena. Oh, it's the creeper I'm worried about. The zombies I can handle. Oh, careful, there's a creeper! William! You ran right past it! You're so lucky it didn't blow up then. That is crazy. Right, so I'm gonna try and keep the creepers off my, uh, off my back. Oh, I've got one torch. I've got one torch. Let's put it, like, right down here. Let's least uh, have one area of safety where they, uh, they won't spawn in. Uh, yeah, so, uh, help us. Maybe if you start putting the glass around the outside, it's gonna be the whole way around the outside here. Then I'm gonna start doing the, uh, I'm gonna start doing the cherries. Uh, so I'm gonna do the... The middle first. So uh, let me try and work out where the middle is. So it should be eight either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So this is exactly the middle here. So let me go and play. Let me just kind of guess here. Oh, is that perfect? Oh, no, I'm, I'm off by one. So here we go. This is the, the very middle block here. So this is where you're going to, to start off. And this is going to be the biggest cherry. So there's basically going to be sticky pistons all around the floor there, which are going to push up fences, uh, which are going to keep you uh, stuck in. Uh, but then this is just going to be kind of cherry themed the whole bit here. And then this is where you're going to be standing. So you're going to be standing here and then you're going to throw the, uh, the trident. So it goes all the way down there and it should be worked out that it kind of just lands right on the end of there. Because there's going to be like a, a glass opening here, uh, which is going to be where you uh, you throw it to. So I guess I could kind of go and add in that that glass opening here. And then this should be five blocks wide. So we've got one, two, three, four. And then is this meant to be the fifth one here? Oh no, I, th I think my help is going to be confused building this bit. So it kind of looks a bit lopsided. So this should be the middle here, like that. And so it should be five. So if this, yeah, if this is the very middle here like there then it should be oh i think has this gone too wide on this side i'm not sure how well let me let me make sure i'm definitely getting this so this is the middle here and let me just mark this with a block so it should go two on a yes so this has gone 
too wide here. It looks like it almost went even wider, but they're not uh, wide enough on this side here. So this will end up going down like this. And then let me go and add the uh, the glass into where the uh, the window is uh, is going to, to be. It's just mad now on Bedrock just how many googly spawn absolutely everywhere. If you haven't been, uh, if you haven't like covered every tiny inch of the world in torches, then yeah, you can expect some uh, some rather crazy evenings <laughs> with our, our night builds here in our, in our lovely world. So yeah, this this is going to be the uh, the opening uh, that is going to be here and then this is where you're going to be throwing the the trident through and it should work out that oh no okay it's actually not too bad because like at least we haven't done any of the the redstone or the the details or stuff so it didn't actually make too bad of a, of a little hole so yeah it should work out so that trident always lands right at the the very end and then there's going to be a bunch of other like single block cherries as well aka uh, red wall uh, which are going to be uh, around the uh, the whole outskirts of this area and then these are just going to be all just two blocks away uh, from the the wall so you don't even really need to, to count how far away they are from here as long as you line it up to the the middle and then you imagine actually imagine the walls there so we'd have two blocks and then this cherry would be here and then the the same with the diag uh, the diagonals as well so this would go along here like that There'd be the wall here, one, two blocks, and then this cherry here. And then, yeah, these are going to be uh, around the uh, the whole outside. And then these are going to be where the uh, the cakes come from. So there's going to be droppers underneath the block. So you won't actually see the droppers, uh, but the cakes will kind of just go through the block anyway. And they're going to be kind of like little obstacles for while you're doing your little belly dance, your little trident belly dance. <laughs> uh, so they kind of get in the way, but they also kind of just mark where the, uh, the cakes are going to be uh, coming out from. So there needs to be another one there. And then uh, some more on these diagonal sides. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell the diagonals, especially when you're doing it on the white wall. But I think it should be that block there. Uh, if these aren't exactly right, we will sort them out in the next episode where we end up doing all of the uh, the mechanics and the, the redstone and stuff. But this will be uh, hopefully enough for you to have an idea of how the game will be played. So I'll be here with my trident. I throw it through the, the gap. That will allow me to, to run around. And then I'll keep doing my little... Uh, my little trident dance to try and pick up the, the cakes. Let me try and give you an example. God, that trident goes very, very far, doesn't it? Oh, this is the tricky part. I gotta make sure it flies past me. And then if I get up good speed, oh, that was a good one. See how wide it is from me? And then now I'd be, oh, okay, I did really badly then, but I'll be trying to make my way all the way around here uh, in order to, to try and, uh, yeah, go and uh, pick up all of the, the cakes while, of course, trying to dodge snowballs uh, at the same time uh, as well. So it's going to be probably a little bit of a stressful game, but hopefully a whole bunch uh, of fun uh, as well. So, right, we'll uh, we'll go and add the rest of the glass around the, uh, the outside. I make sure the cherries are all in the right place, uh, and then we go and uh, finish. Oh, it's a baby fox. Oh, you're so cute. You are so cute. How did you get up here? Oh, no, don't. Are you okay? Okay. He doesn't want to be my friend, obviously. So, yeah, we'll finish off uh, the rest of this area around the outside here. And then in the next episode, we'll come back in and we'll get all of the uh, the mechanics uh, all working. Uh, so it will be a fully functioning cake collector minigame. And then we can play this thing. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode here, though. I want to say a big thank you to all of my helpers for helping, uh, not only helping build, but also helping keeping me alive through a rather traumatic night. I think we need to start sleeping at night a little bit more. Might be a... <laughs> That's my idea. My helpers are saying, yes, please. That was horrible. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we'll do that next time. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!